So how we doing guys? I'm back. I know it's been a good good while but I'm finally back. I've been on holiday, it was cracking, it was great. But next up something even more important son, I've been looking forward to We watched all the Ozjet games away and now we've got Maribor up next at home. Now we've played Maribor before, we've beat them and back in 2001 we've beat them but last time we beat them they actually put us out of qualifiers. So we actually, it was a 1-1 and then we lost, uh, lost 2-1 and a 1-1 against them which was hard and Maribor are a good side, they've managed to get by a lot of good sides as well throughout their time and they just seem to be good at beating Scottish opposition like a lot of people say so what we need to do is we need to put out a team that's strong, solid at the back and hope we can do a lot and we've seen that our team is pretty solid at the back with the amount of clean sheets so I'm still pretty hopeful that with this team that we'll do some uh, damage and we'll actually be able to beat this side and then as we get through that with any that got progress again or FC UFA but I'm pretty sure it'll be UFA because they're Russian and they're probably better in progress to be fair but starting off we'll go over the team that I expect to be played and let's see what you think about it so first up we have Alan McGregor the most important player on the team this season he's actually like a fine wine got better with age he's been class saves everything and he's just commanding it's so much better to have a goalie like him now rather than fodder him Nanak where you can just rely on him to stop everything for you. Really, really good, and it's great to have him. Then we have Tavnir, a player whose position's actually under threat now because Barisic just came in, strong left back. People really enjoyed Flanagan, don't want him to be replaced, so I could see him moving to the right because people see Tav as a weak link at the back. And then Goldson, couldn't get any good footage with Rangers because it was harder to get, but here's some footage from when he was playing the Premiership in his debut, and you can see his passing range is solid, great playing out for the back, and great defender all round. Really excited to have him. And then you have Katic. Goals, three goals, goals for a centre back. Mad, but he's just a dominant presence in the air. Not as tidy in the ball as Goldson, but younger and he's got a good future, that's for sure. If we can keep him. Big Gerard loves him. And then the player that's impressed me most probably is Flanagan. I've seen him, I thought he'd went downhill when he went and bolted that, but he's been class. Really good. Then you have Candace. This is one player who I think will actually get a start now. Instead of Murphy playing the right, I feel like just with his work rate and how, do how damaging he was to Ozgx's attack, I can see him staying in for that. And then Arfield, someone that moves the ball as quick as in, dead, free-flowing, brilliant play. You can tell he plays at, played at a higher level and he'll be vital in midfield. Ryan Jack's sadly out and we would love to see Ryan Jack in because he's been playing out his skin. But we have Koulibaly, the destroyer as well. He's been great, wins everything, therefore a mainstay in the team I think. Then Ryan Kent, someone that's really important because he can play with both feet, which can cause so many problems. You can see it when he took the corner for each side. It was impressive. I also think Ryan Jack and Ajari will both play because they got a break against Aberdeen and they were getting rested for Maribor, I think. You can see Ajari is tied in the ball, cuts in and out. But the last man, unfairly treated at Aberdeen, I think. But hopefully he's starting to see some good goals. Hopefully he continues it. That'd be great. But anyway, that's the team. Simple, he's played the same team before, but I feel like that's exactly what he'll play. Couple of players have been rested for this game, I think. Defence is solid, but could change with Barisic coming in next round if we get through. But Captain Tavernier stays at right back now for me. McGregor, vital at the back, and let's see if we can go out and beat them. I think we can do it. I'm predicting maybe a 2-1, 2-0, 1-0 to us. Hopefully we don't get a pumping, but I'm inspired by the team now. Thanks for watching, if you've enjoyed, leave a like and if you want to see more just comment down below and I'll see what everyone's opinions is. Cheers.